This week on Archer's Choice. This is the first time we've been here. Their natural route that we're learning is coming off those fields and going up towards our cabin, which is on. Well, we let the beaming fly and my Hoyt hit him where it hurts. He's a big bear. What do you say? We let the beam and fly. Wait, hit him where it hurts. This is a beautiful bear. Can you believe this is our 19th year on TV? This is the 19th season of Archer's Choice. Archer's hey, Choice. Welcome to Archer's Choice. Is here once again. With yeah, yeah, we're gonna go hunt with full draw outfitters. Yes. Out with Fred and Michelle, we're gonna do some elk hunting, some bear hunting. Who knows? We have tags for all kinds of things. Cause it's a two-parter. Yes. This is part one, so okay. we're just gonna get going. G'day, g'day. How are you? Good, my friend. I'm Ralph. Ralph Michael. How's it going? I'm Vicky. Vicky Michael. How nice are you? Nice to meet you. You got one right there. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, I like it. It doesn't, probably doesn't move too much, no. but we'll be right. No, but we need that then. Decoy. Well, we're hoping that one morning we'll wake up and it's on the ground. Mm, maybe. <laughs> it's a good chance here. Yeah. Yeah, we had him in the back here two days ago. That's what Fred so, was saying. Yeah. Yep, yep, well. Awesome. You, you gonna show us some around? Yes, yes, sir. Show you where to go and what to do. Thank you. You know, I gotta tell you something. I, I mean, I never expected for us to have our little slice of heaven, then to have it near Fred. That's really cool. Check, keep checking this, and as soon as you see the tracks on it, then sit it. You sit it through the day. It's, it's hot. It's going to be hot, so they're going to come and drink. So, especially the bear. Once you want that bear tag done, you can get in there, and he'll he'll come for a swim. If it's a hot morning, you'll only get a couple of sits because of the heat. Just come to here, drop in on a 45, and you can work that edge. If it's not a hot morning, you can drive down to this one or this one, because then you've got a couple of hours. Like if you know it's gonna, gonna be going for a while, feel free, come right down and work it back. In the evening, you're gonna have a bit of swirl. So you're just gonna have to work out on the day. As soon as it cools down, the sun drops, it's gonna pull down again. Gonna pull down. Yeah, yeah. So in your evening, you just gotta work out what it is, find out on the day which way your breeze is and, and where your park is from there. And that's in there is meant to be amazing. We haven't even touched it yet. Yeah. We're going to head out probably about quarter to six just to drive out. We'll just sit yep. and then we'll make yep. our move. One of the things that we always have to do, no matter where you're going, whether it's somewhere right at your own house or if you're going to do some traveling, is you know, we take our bow out when you got to oh, do yeah. some shooting. You Grab that boat sure and start flinging working. arrows because, because, I mean, little things can change, whether it's elevation, you know. The, just anything. Yeah. So always be sure because remember again, this is this is just a game, a mental game, right? And sure. inches, game of inches. I'm thinking there's a comment I can make, but I'll just keep quiet. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Now I just need one to do that this afternoon for me. Step out at 30. Hey, first afternoon here, Colorado elk hunting. Ralph and I each have an either or tag, either sex. So, this fall's been pretty rough and I'm really missing some elk meat. So, I'm not gonna lie to you, right now, first legal elk, cow or bull with a five inch brow, or four on one side, within my shooting range, I'm throwing an arrow. Just saying, Beeman's gonna sail. Full draw outfitters, let's go kill some now. You know, we're gonna go and hunt a big oak field. Right, a food source. Right, a food source, you know. 
It's September, and this is what we're growing. They were watching these elk come into that food source almost daily. And what we were trying to do, our plan was to actually, you know, as we were approaching, just to do a couple little calls, random calls. One, right. to see how aggressive they are because it's their first day, but number two, also to try to locate them before they maybe get to the fields because then, checking the wind, we might be able to intercept them. And we got there early, so we weren't really sure which direction they're gonna come out of. So you were doing some calling. We actually yep. separated. I was set up with my bow, and you went further away to do some calling to see if we can't get something to come past us. Right. All right, we've got, they've got these elk coming out in this old field. So we're gonna get here. We'll get back in position. We're on this old field here with full draw outfitters, and the elk love to come to this field in the evening. And because it's we, it's so easy to get around it, it's going to be easy enough for us to go. We just got to play our wind to make sure our wind plays right. Ralph is going to play. He's going to be my caller. He and Terry are going to sit over there. Chad and Ariana are going to sit here in glass, and hopefully we'll see something coming in. That wind switched around. It's blowing that way, which is perfect. We had the young bulls, the yeah, spikes and everything. Over there and to the left of yep. us there. But then all of a sudden. Then, you know, the one that sort of like trips your trigger, but you have to remember something. They they all trip our trigger. I don't want to go 
one side or the other because we could keep the wind in our favor somehow, some way. Their natural route that we're learning, this is the first time we've been here, is coming off of those fields, coming up and going up that way. They're actually going towards our cabin, which is awesome. We saw them starting to head up and we said, let's make a plan, let's go get, intercept them. Yep. So trying to keep the wind in our favor. So we were gonna use the contours of the land and the timber and try to intercept them. If we go between these other ponderosas, it looks like it may be quieter than going that way. Do you see what I'm saying? So once again, we're gonna set up. You're gonna go ahead, you're calling yep. for me. You've got your Montana decoy out right, again. Right, I'm working it. And you're gonna go further away so we can, because we saw a good one. Well, I'm try we're trying to draw them right. again, drawing them past you. Right. And you know what, we just have to, and you went back, you started calling. And, and bull come up, and then something. Needs. Go on. Disappeared. I think he ran into New Mexico maybe. He went down. So. This is Terry's first time out coming with us. <laughs> And you, you need to learn that you don't lay in prickly pear. I don't know. They're so fine yet. I don't know. So I have um. That's got to be hair. If I pull that out, you're gonna scream at me. It's your pant leg that you're gonna. Now there's more in it. They're just in my pants. Wait. One guy said at least it's the leg and not the goods. <laughs> So, you know, you get up early, you run around the mountainside, yep. you come back, you have lunch, maybe you take a nap, and then oh, must be you nice. go back out in the afternoon. Okay. But, you know, a lot of I times. I think while you were siesting, I was checking well, trail cameras. You may have been. Yes. You may have been. But it is part of what elk hunting is. You go oh, out, yeah. you oh, get yeah. up early, you run the mountainsides, maybe you don't go back to have lunch, maybe you take a siesta out on the hillside because yep. actually that's like the best place but to But now that you have, we have our little cabin, sometimes it's nice to just relax So we're not too far our... we're hunting, so we go back home. Yep. Yeah, so I'm laying there on the bed trying to take a little nap, a little siesta, and he's not there and he left his phone behind and I hear an elk bugle and I swear it was his phone. So I turned his phone off and I lay back down and I hear an elk bugle and then I hear some cow calling and I'm like, that's not his phone. I was in the house and I thought I heard a bugle, which Ralph has on his phone for a call, or for a text message rather. Yeah, I'm a mess. Um, anywho, I realized it wasn't his phone. There's an elk, there's, I can hear cows and a bull. I don't know if this will work or not, but Hey, what the heck? We just heard them. Gonna have to watch the wind. I think the wind might be totally in our, un, not in our favor. But Ralph will probably show up as we're stalking across the driveway. Still not even back yet. He just thought of fun. Nap time elk hunting, lay down, relax a little bit before you can go out, hear a bugle, get out of the house, get dressed real quick, and have a nice encounter. I almost just shot a cow. <laughs> the bull is up there too. I go, Chad, he goes, what I go? 
I just heard a bull bugle out back. And he's like, are you kidding me? I'm like, no. So I come out here with vinyls and I'm like, I don't know where it was at. I have no idea we're here. Here. So I look at him, I'm like, just go change quick. I still have my sweat socks on. I didn't even put my regular hunting socks on. I'm like, just change, let's go. Just grabbed everything and went up there and I had my cow call. I could see the bull, nice bull. He's up there. The cow, we had, she, she was coming. We got her to with about 60 something yards, but was in the timber. I didn't take the, if I would have taken the decoy, I swear I probably would have had a cow. You guys would have come back and we had a cow and to process. Had a cow right here on our right here. Right. That have been awesome. And the wind was kind of like, ee, 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 you know what I mean? So, and then finally she was like, mm, something's not right. And then she just, she walked and she stopped because I cowed again, I cow called again. And she stopped and she looked back and she's like, yeah, no. And then she didn't run, she just like walked. We'd have mounted that cow. <laughs> Big shoulder mount, you know what I mean? Yeah. Dang. It was, it was pretty fun. I was like, oh, we get up there and I'm like, we should have grabbed that stinking decoy. I'm like, I could have stuck her up on the ground there and we'd have been, she'd have come, I think she'd have come all the way in. She was looking hard to try finding something. You know, lo and behold, right before sundown, you know, we're looking around and look to my left and I like Terry. I think Terry said, bull. So, so we're like, is he legal? And sure enough, he had exactly what we needed. So when he came, he started to, to walk away. I arranged it prior to that. Well, we let the beam and fly, and my Hoyt hit him where it hurts. Look at this, here's my knock. All right, a breadcrumb knock. Turned it off, all the way up here. My beam is inside him. Right to there. Up here, here. There he lies, right there, buddy. Oh, thank you, Lord. What do you say? We're up here with Fred and Michelle, full draw outfitters. We have 90 degree temperatures. Fred's struggling. He's like, they're here, and we know they're here. Well, lo and behold, our first opportunity, and we did not. And we, we, we counted, it's a legal bull. We let that beaming fly and that beaming flew and this bull is down, I'm telling you, probably less than 75 yards from where we hit, where we shot him. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Honey. Oh, we got freezer meat. Mm. Oh. 
Oh, well, congratulations. Awesome. You know, you know, you know I mean? we have a freezer full of elk meat. Oh. And, and let's not kid ourselves. You know, we, you know, we always talk like, like, you know, for food, for food. But right. we love to hunt. Oh my gosh! And then I, to I'm fill all the freezer, about though. releasing arrows. Well, no, I know you are. But yes. I mean, fill in the freezer. That's oh. just elk, you know, fresh elk, elk? elk roast, throw it on the Traeger. Oh. I mean, burgers. You got all kinds of great stuff. I'm, all kinds. You know what? I seem to be using my hands more this year than I ever have. Way so more. I think I will just sit on them from now on. She can't do it. I can't do it. You're Come right. On, you guys know when they start to <laughs> ramble. But hey. You this just... was part one, so part two is next week. So you're going to have to come back to see what happens then. Yep. You know, Same time. Same channel. Right here. On the, on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.